So here's a garage from Pioneer Pole Buildings with some assembly required. Scrap Value Projects here with phase one of my new garage build. I'm going to try something a little different with some voiceovers, so bear with me. I uh, spent the past year planning, contracting, permitting, doing the site work, and finally starting to build on my new dream garage. Here you can see my little two acre lot where it's going. Uh, I'll be back there in the top left of the frame behind the house. Had to cut four or five, I guess six largest trees to open the yard up a bit for it. And uh, there you can see my closest neighbors, who I'm sure will be just thrilled with the amount of noise I'll be making in there. And beyond them, a not-so-scenic shot of the rest of the county. So, here's a garage from Pioneer Pole Buildings with some assembly required. Got our trusses. This is going to be a 30 by 30, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 trusses. Uh, I think those are going to be four feet on center, if I remember right, uh, for the plans. Our posts, those are four by sixes. I got one window, it's going to be on the side close to the house, and our walk-in door. A bunch of brackets, soffit. Doesn't look like much, does it? I guess there's really not much to it though. Here's some of our metal trim. And then our metal siding and roof. Studs for purlins. So yeah, it doesn't look like much, does it? And then they just drilled our holes. So these are 20 inches diameter by four feet deep. That's what the county required. We're gonna come out and do our foundation inspection later. So I think there's 16 of these holes. So I'm doing two 10 foot walk in doors or uh, roll up doors, sorry. There's our two roll-up doors, posts on each side. My walk-in door is going to be here on the side. There I walk in. It'll be in the garage. So the next update should be a garage right here. Here's the final product. I use that word used loosely because really this is more like phase one, just getting the building up. But overall, pretty happy with it. I uh, like the color combination. I think I made the right choice on that. And uh, went together pretty quickly. They put it up in about two days. I have a time lapse video showing that from start to finish. These are 10 by 10 roll up doors just to give you some scale. And here's the interior. Distance between those posts is about 10 feet to make up a 30 foot depth. The rafters are four feet apart. Ideally, I would have done two feet apart, but that would drive up the cost quite a bit. Picked up a little Massey Ferguson to do some site work with and have the ability to do things with the front bucket. My other little tractor just had a three point hitch on the back, which was nice. Uh, got a lot done with it, but having the buckets really helped. So you can see we got pretty big gap 
all the way around into the skirt board. And that's what will take up our four inches of gravel and five inches of concrete. The uh, plan is to have five inches reinforced concrete to go with our 12 foot ceiling. So I can put a lift in here in the not too distant future. Move around back, you can see the one foot overhang on the soffit. And I'm probably gonna end up putting gutters on there to, to help drain water around it a little bit. I didn't put any windows or anything on this side since it's a side away from the house. And it'll be pretty shaded. Anyway, once these trees are full of leaves again, So there you have it. Next update, we'll hopefully have electrical and concrete. I still have a lot of slight work to do, a lot of grading to finish, dirt to spread, gravel to move. So that's gonna keep me busy for the next couple weeks, probably getting everything done, ready for the slab. And uh, then we'll outfit it and we'll have a nice usable garage for all our future projects. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and uh, like and subscribe as always. Thanks, bye.